Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. I hope you all had a wonderful week. It's great to be with you virtually this evening to celebrate Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom, Cantor. How are you? Shabbat Shalom, Rabbi. Shabbat Shalom, Kevin. How are you? Great. Shabbat Shalom. So great to be together uh, for another week. And uh, we are going to begin our Shabbat service now with our opening song, which is Yismechu HaShemayim. That's Yismechu HaShemayim. It may be found on page 346 of the prayer book. Page 346. continues now on pages two and three with the blessing for the Shabbat candles. You are welcome to rise. Let's try that again. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kedshanu v'mitzvotah v'tzivanu l'hadlik ner shel Shabbat. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who sanctifies us with your commandments and commands us to kindle the lights of Shabbat. Continues now on pages four and five of the prayer book. Page four. Vayhi Erev, Vayhi Voker, Yom Hashishi, and there was evening and there was morning, the sixth day. Thank you. 
We continue with the Kiddush prayer, page five. synagogue be narrow enough to shut out pettiness and pride, envy and enmity. May its threshold be no stumbling block to young or straying feet. May it be too high to admit complacency, selfishness, and harshness. May this synagogue be, for all who enter, the doorway to a richer and more meaningful life. Our service continues now on page 24 of the prayer book. We continue with Shalom Aleichem. Oh, 
Praise to you, Adonai, who loves your people, Israel. Baruch Atah Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. We turn now to pages 34 and 35. Please rise as we offer the Shema prayer together. Our service continues now on page 43. 
Give us a place to rest, Adonai, our God. Bring us into shelter in the soft, long evening shadows of your truth. For with you are true protection and safety, and in your presence are acceptance and gentle love. Watch over us as we go forth. Prepare for us as we return. Spread over us your shelter of peace over all, over all we love, over our Jerusalem and yours. Baruch atah Adonai, aporei sukkah shalom aleinu, ve'al kol amo Yisrael, ve'al Yerushalayim. We turn now to page 44 as we continue with the Shammah. Shimmer, 
You are holy, your name is holy, and those who are holy praise you every day. Blessed are you, Adonai, the holy God. Baruch atah Adonai ha'el ha'kadosh. Please be seated. Our service continues now on page 60 with Shalom Rab, our prayer for peace. We turn ahead in the prayer book now to page 259, page 259, as we offer the prayer for the state of Israel. Shalu, Shalom, Yerushalayim, Yishalayo, Ohabaya. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you prosper. O Heavenly One, Protector and Redeemer of Israel, bless the state of Israel, which marks the dawning of hope for all who seek peace. Shield it beneath the wings of your love. Spread over it the canopy of your peace. Send your light and truth to all who lead and advise, guiding them with your good counsel. Establish peace in the land and fullness of joy for all who dwell there. Amen. This time we turn back in the prayer book to page 253. As we prepare to offer the Mishabera prayer now, we call to mind all those in our lives in need of healing. If there is someone in your life in need of the Misha Barak this evening, please feel free to type in their name now on the YouTube comments so that way we may think of them. Pray for them for a full healing of body, of mind, and of spirit. Misha Barak, Avotenu, Vimotenu, Avraham, Yitzchak, Yaakov, Sarah, Rukav, Rukav, Leah, Huyivarech, Etacholim. 
May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless and heal those who are ill. May the blessed Holy One be filled with compassion for their health to be restored and their strength to be revived. May God swiftly send them a complete renewal of body and spirit. And let us say, Amen. Oh, <laughs> 
So we are going to have virtual birthday blessings. So here we go. If you are celebrating a birthday in October, feel free now to type in your in the YouTube comments, type in your name, the date in October of your birthday. And if you aren't so inclined, you can tell us how old you are. So again, feel free to type in your uh, name, date of birthday and age if you would like. At this time, I'll offer the blessing. We'll read the names and then sing our Yom Hulet Sameach. God, you have sustained and guided us and brought us to this place in a journey of life. Let us look out with wisdom from the high ground of our years and experiences. Let us gaze towards the past and future with a heightened sense of your presence as our God. Today, as you celebrate the continual unfolding of your lives, may you be struck by the wonder of being. May kindness and compassion be upon your lips and may strength and courage be with you in your comings and goings. O God, our Creator, you are the first and the last. May our lives ever be a song of praise to you, and let us say Amen. And now, let's see who we've got for birthdays here. Mark Sabbath on October 27th. Congratulations. And we have Carol Stolo on October 29th. Iris Margulies on October 30th, Harriet Gobb, October 7th, and Audrey Whitman, October 5th. Mazel tov to all of our birthdays, and now it's time for singing for October birthdays. Here we go. <laughs> Bill Stola wants to know if we're having cake. You have to eat it at home. Eat your cake at home. You can have your cake and eat it too. And uh, uh, Dan Schaefer on October 13th. Mazel tov to all of our October birthdays. Now, uh, we will continue now with our Torah service. We're reading the Torah this evening. We begin on page 244 with Ain Kamoka. <laughs> In the north of Thank you. 
Chanting from the very beginning, in the beginning, Bereshit bara Elohim et Hashemayim et Haaretz. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Oh, uh, you may notice uh, that uh, our Torah scrolls, the mantles, are back to their usual colors of the year. Uh, the holidays are now have ended, and we return to the regular Torah mantles. Of course, the uh, story of the beginning of the Torah tells the story of the creation of the world. God created the world in six days and rested on the seventh day on Shabbat. And uh, what was created last on day six before uh, God ceased from creation? That was human beings. We are the pinnacle of that creation. Uh, in Genesis, we read, God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. So this verse, of course, the first question we can ask ourselves is who is us? Who exactly is God talking to when God said, let us make man in our image? Uh, the traditional commentators say it is the angels, uh, that God is speaking to the angels and creating us. And that verse also says that we are created in God's image, which is B'Tselem Elohim in God's image. Jewish commentators throughout the centuries have discussed this phrase, a literal reading of the in the divine image, might suggest that we look like God in the same sense that a child looks like his father or mother. In many places, the Torah depicts God as having human features, such as a hand, a yad, a voice, and a face, panim, and that God expresses human qualities like frustration and anger and love. On Rosh Hashanah, we refer to God as Avinu Malkenu, which, of course, the translation is our father, our king. Note as well, by the way, that our mafsor that we use on the holidays does not translate that ver that phrase, Avinu Malkenu, and just writes Avinu Malkenu to, to uh, not give God a gender. However, I would, tell, would say that most of us grew up with what we can call the God of Hebrew school. We are taught when we are young that God is a man with a white beard sitting on a throne in heaven, perhaps throwing lightning bolts from the sky. Yet beginning in the Middle Ages, Jewish scholars questioned the idea that God is a human-like king. Maimonides wrote that God has no physical form and is rather a spiritual being. The modern philosopher Mordechai Kaplan taught that God is a spirit or force, as in, may the force be with you. 
To be created in the divine image, then, does not have to do with physical characteristics, but rather our character and behavior. To be, cre to be created with Selim Elohim means that we all have the spark of the divine within us, and so we must strive to live as God would expect of us, to the highest moral and ethical standards. So Cantor is going to begin the reading of the Torah from the very beginning. Uh, we are going to have a virtual congregational aliyah. So Cantor is going to sing with our virtual congregation. So while you're at home, I want you to sing loud. This is the first reading in the entire Torah scroll for the whole year. Sing at home. Sing loud. Sing like you're in the shower. Let us hear it. Let's do the Torah blessings with Cantor. I'll offer the response. Baruch Adonai Hamorach Le'olam Ba'ed 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 Baruch Adonai Hamorach Bereshit bara Elohim et hashamayim v'et haaretz v'haaretz hayatat tohu vavohu v'choshech al penei jehom v'ruach Elohim merachefet al penei hamayim v'yomer Elohim yihi or v'yihi or Vayar Elohim et ha'or ki tov Vayavdel Elohim Ben ha'or uven ha'choshech Vayikra Elohim la'yo yom V'lachoshech kara layla Vayihi erev vayihi voker yom echad Vayomer Elohim yihi rakia v'toch ha'mayim Vihi mafdil be'mayim la'mayim. Since well, the, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, Cantor. Uh, since this is such an important portion, I'm actually going to read and translate for you too, and then we'll do the blessing after. Reshit bara Elohim, in the beginning God created, et ha'shemayim vet ha'aretz, the heavens and the earth. Ve'ha'aretz ha'ita tohu vavohu, and the land was unformed and void, and there was darkness upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was dwelling on the face of the water. And God said, God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light. And God saw that the light was good. Yavdel Elohim bein ha'or, and God created a division between the light, uvein ha'choshech, between the light and the darkness. Vayikra Elohim la'or yom, and God called the light day, v'la'choshech kara layla, and God called the uh, the darkness evening. Vayihi ere, vayihi vokir yom echad, and there was evening and there was morning, one day, the first day. Note, of course, that it says there was evening and there was morning. This is why all Jewish holidays begin at night and go to the following evening, because we read there was evening and there was morning, Yom Echad, day one. We continue now with the blessing after the Torah reading. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher natan lano Torah temet, v'chayeh olam natah b'tochenu, baruch atah Adonai, now, Shakur, thank you, Cantor, for our Torah reading uh, this evening. I'm going to lift the Torah scroll now. It's the very first portion. So uh, take a good look and uh, please, you're welcome to rise now as we give honor to the Torah scroll. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
service continues now with a time page 256. Uh, we remain standing now as we open the ark. It's gone. Roger Blaine, 
Lewis Buckbinder, David Cohen, Sam Hart, Doris Horowitz, Leonard Kaplan, Harriet Leaf, Murray Nezowitz, Edith Nisseblatt, Harry Portnoy, Dottie Schiffman, Barry Silverstein, Ida Salomiak, Fred Schweitzer, Sylvia Zagorin, Frank Zenstein, Rose Abrams, Ruth Brenner, Sidney Goldstein, Helen Edith Hacker, Sylvia Jaffe, Joseph Kirker, Murray Klein, Jack Solomon Lieberman, Linda Resnitsky, Morris Spector, Stephen Stern, and Shirley Yantis. I'll invite you to rise now as we recall our loved ones and we join in reciting the Kaddish prayer. Yit Gada, Yit Gada, Shemei Rava, Yama Tibra Chirute, Yam Lef Machute, Rechai Echon, the Yom Echon, the Rechai Echol Beit Yisrael, Bagala Uizman Kari Hebrew Amen. Yehi Shemei Rava Mevorach Leolam Ulamei Amaya. Yit Barach Vishtabach Yit Paar Yit Roma Yit Naseh. Vietadar, Vietale, Vietala, Shame, Kudisha, Briko, Laila, Minko, Birhata, Vishirata, Tushbehata, Venechemata, Dami Rabi Ama, Vinru, Amen, Yehe, Shlama, Raba, Vin Shemaya, Vahaim, Aleno, Vyako, Israel, Vinru, Amen, O Se Shalom, Vin Roma, Uya Se Shalom, Aleno, Vyako, Israel, Vinru, Amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us and to all Israel, to which we say, Amen. Cantor and Kevin for our beautiful music uh, this evening. I want to let everyone know about a few upcoming events. Uh, we are having uh, services tomorrow morning, Shabbat morning at 11.30 a.m. Please note the later time. Uh, our original plan was to have them outdoors. Um, it's looking a little cold and wet, so uh, when you are able, if you're able to join us in person, uh, we will probably actually move indoors. And thus, uh, of course, we'll be wearing masks and sitting socially distanced uh, in the sanctuary uh, tomorrow at 11.30. So you're welcome to join us for that. We'll also be celebrating a baby naming uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, Sunday is our designer bag bingo and tricky tray at from noon to four. That one is outdoors and we'll be practicing uh, social distancing and wearing masks, of course, for that for safety. Thursday, um, of course, and uh, both uh, tomorrow's service and uh, tomorrow's service will be also streamed as well uh, on YouTube. Uh, Thursday, the 22nd of October at 7.30 p.m. is the DPEC virtual concert featuring jazz vocalist Marianne Sullivan. Uh, you may join us for that on YouTube. And Friday, the 23rd, next Friday at 8 p.m. is our virtual Shabbat service and Pink Shabbat. Uh, with anniversary blessings, Pink Shabbat is uh, in um, in unity with those who are struggling with cancer, and uh, we will have a guest speaker next Friday at night. Her name is Nancy Cohen from Shar Sheret, which is a Jewish response to cancer. And so, friends, uh, we are going to conclude our Shabbat service now with Adon Olam, page three hundred and twenty-one, followed by the Bore Moshe. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
Peaceful, safe, and healthy week. Stay well. Shabbat shalom.